That means action? Action. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. It's Tuesday's edition of Facebook Live. Uh, Christine's making me fly solo today. So, But um, welcome. Um, sorry we're late. We've been sort of running around like crazy. Uh, Kate took off uh, for the weekend, and this is still the weekend. And so... Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, which means we're all on our own, which means we're running around like crazy really people. Really it's awesome. Crazy. That's right, exactly. Um, but anyway, we're thrilled to have you. Um, welcome back. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, I know Amanda and Cindy did a great job yesterday on live, so um, hopefully you had fun with that project. Um, we got another really awesome project today, so this is a good one. You guys have actually been asking for this for a long time. Val, I'm going to steal your thunder. It's good. See, okay. Yeah, that's right. Val. You have no thunder. Oh, now you decide to show up. Yes. <laughs> that's good. You're always so eager to show them what we're doing. I know, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, I just got to jump into it. That's what, <laughs> so nobody leaves us. That's no, why. Nobody leaves us. Wait, no, where are we going? Just having this. Just don't oh, worry. Okay, good. Just Sorry. <laughs> Relax. I know, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, we're doing the little pumpkin um, pin cushion. It's a super cute. You can use it as a pillow. If you but want, take the pins out. Take please. the. That's a good idea. Yep, I could just see that happening. <laughs> so, but anyway, it, you're gonna love this one. So, um, it's uh, um, easy. 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 Is it super easy? Super it's a sewing easy. project today, so super all of cute. you get a good, super easy sewing project, mm -hmm. which is really, really good. Um, we are, do have kits for this, by the way, yeah. and I'll let the girls talk about the kits here a little bit. So, we have lots of new things today. Actually. Oh, do we? Good, good. Um, by the way, we st we are again. We still have spots left for tea party, so we've got a few uh, few places left. If you guys are interested, that's going to be this coming me. weekend. Up so she can be in. No, that's all right. She's getting all together here. So, um, so again, we do have kits available for tea party. Um, by the way, for those of you signed up for tea party, um, you will be getting an email on Thursday. So Thursday is when your little invite to come to the class will be. Um, so look for that in your emails. If you don't have that by Thursday at five o'clock, you need to get a hold of us so you, you can get you s situated before Friday morning. So um, yes. that will be to you on Thursday. So just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Okay. Also, um, hold on, I want to talk about tea party. Oh, good. Okay. okay, go ahead. So on the our calendar tab, so for our events, if you go to the tea party date. Um, there is a link for the supply list and the prep work. So you will get a sheet that looks like this, or you can download a sheet that looks like this, and it'll break it down into what projects we are doing and when. So like the first three projects are going to be the first day, and the second one, or the second lot of three will be the second day. And if you look over here, it tells you what stabilizers, what color threads they recommend, um, what size hoop we're using, how many hoopings that includes. So make sure you're looking at this and getting everything together and everything prepared um, so you're not coming in on that day like um, you are Gee, frantically. I don't, I don't want you to be like that. I want you to feel prepared. So this that's where you can find this and it'll break everything down for you for that event. So if you haven't done that, go out and look at that so you can get everything together. Perfect. All right. Yay. Yay. Okay. All right. Also, um, uh, as you guys saw, and I think Am Amanda and um, Cindy announced this, um, we did have some minor errors that again they were I want to emphasize minor because right. it would have just made you guys cut a little bit of extra fabric that you didn't need so we did put a correction for mystery number nine that's on the website so just keep mm -hmm. that in mind I'm sure everybody has knows that by now but just in case um, the instructions we have up on the website now are correct yes. so that's the ones that you need so just keep that in mind and Kate's gonna do that sometime this week she I think we're gonna start mystery nine but I might be speaking out of turn because only Elaine Kate knows what we're we actually do around here so, so Elaine's not doing it. what's that I thought Elaine was doing it nope I'm actually doing it so <laughs> oh. so you're starting it yeah I'm starting it with Kate's <laughs> oh, direction yeah exactly that's right so we're looking forward to that so cool. Um, we have a winner? Yes. Yes. So Aww, it's, it's so cute. cute little toaster or <coughs> mug rug with a fall maple. Is that a maple leaf? Yes. Maple leaf on there. And that is going to go to Judy Russell. Yes. Yay, Judy. Yay, Judy. That's right. Congratulations, <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Hopefully you're watching today. We'll have that waiting up here for you. Yet, nope, that's all right. So, all right. Um, and Val is going to be 
doing the sewing today. So yeah. do you guys want to show them the products before you get yeah. sewing? Sure, sure. Okay. Because it's straight sewing. Okay. Yes. So today is the day that we can announce the new AccuQuilt dies. Um, so I'm going to start with this really they cute. They are great. So this is a go big. So and that bowl of soup is not included, but it looks really, really <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> okay, so um, the this is a go big die. So this is only going. This die particular is only going to work in the big electronic machine. So it will not look work in the hand crank one. But this is a bowl cozy. So um, yeah. super it makes it super easy and quick for you to make. I think like quick little gifts if you wanted to. Um, and then probably my favorite one is the pickup truck. So I'm getting a glare here. Oh, here. Everybody needs a red truck, right? Yes. So um, super cute design on the back here. They have the pumpkin, a Christmas tree, 4th of July and spring. Um, but then they also have this cute idea. If you have the camper die, which is not a new one, but now you have a truck to pull your camper. Ooh. And hello, that's cute, <laughs> that's right? <adorable>. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an older die, but I figured we'd show it to you guys. So this is the new pickup die, which is really cute. You can change it for all the seasons. And then this is called the courtyard. Um, kind of looks like a poinsettia to me. Me too. Um, but it is really cute too. They have some ideas on the back and I think they come out with new patterns and stuff whenever they come out with a new I die. I think they do too. So um, that is the other one. And then to go along with their gingerbread die that they came out with before. So they have their gingerbread cookie. But now you have the die where you can actually cut out the little bow for Aww. the hair or the clothing even, you can so dress the decorations for the gingerbread cookie okay so i uh, didn't go over prices so the gingerbread cookie decorations are 29.99 the go the pickup red pickup is 59.99 the courtyard is 89.99 and it's 20% off, of course, yes. as all of you guys and know. And then this one is as well as $89.99. And then, yeah, like Patrick said, everything is 20% off. So if you can't live without uh, those, let and us know. And you all need to order them. All right. Perfect. We're better now. Okay. Okay. So, so we still have that. scissors. We got some wonderful, colorful new scissors in today. So you have little embroidery scissors. And these are only $1.99. What a great thing to have in your embroideries. And they're cushion handled. Then we also have the premium scissors and they, <clears throat> excuse me, are only $3.99. So you guys, these are great to have in your drawer. Oops. And you can buy matching sets. Yeah, that's my favorite yeah, part. Me too. <laughs> okay, Hi. so today we are doing the really, really cute pumpkin um, pin cushion. Okay, so there is kits for today. So it is one pumpkin pin cushion and it is $5.99. But the only thing we did not put in there is going to be that thick embroidery floss. Um, it's your hand embroidery Your hand floss. embroidery floss. So I want to show you, this is the one you've been, you've seen before that I've had here. And this is the one that I cut today. And I got up here and I thought, oh my, they're different sizes. Well, today I used a nine inch pie pan and I must have used an eight inch pie pan on the <laughs> other one. So just know that you can make your pin cushion different any sizes size you want. Depending how hungry you are. Well, that's it. That's good. So, but you're gonna get enough fabric in your kits to make the large one today. Perfect. So what you want to do, guys, is put your fabrics together. And yes, these scissors are only $3.99 plus 20% off. And these ones are only $1.99 plus 20% off. off. A deal you cannot beat. That's why you all need one of each. <laughs> and they just came in the door this morning. They sure did. So I'm using our handy dandy uh, Quilter Select Self Erase Marker because it was handy and it is dandy and I'm going to draw around here 
And you know, I wouldn't have to draw because I'm going to use my rotary cutter. This is the other thing that if you don't own a 28 inch or a 28 millimeter rotary cutter or an 18 millimeter rotary cutter, this is when they really come in handy when you need to do something small. Now, if I'd been smart, I would have had the turntable mm. up here. Why weren't we that smart? The turntable? <laughs> the turntable. The rotating cutting uh -huh. mat? That too. It's a turntable. It turns. But we'll just do it this way. So we should have two circles that are approximately the same size. And remember, ladies, if you don't cut it quite straight, guess what? It's a pin cushion. It's okay. Nobody's going to get upset with you if your pumpkin is just a bit lopsided. Because I've never seen a, a perfect, perfect pumpkin. Cushion or pumpkin, yes. In fact, Cora and I went pumpkin shopping on Friday. That's quite an ordeal with a six-year-old. You didn't go to the pumpkin patch? We did, at King Supers. <laughs> <laughs> That's boring. Um, we had pictures on Saturday. Oh, yeah. So we had a busy weekend. All right, so my pumpkin circles are approximately 10 by 10. The first thing you have to do here is to cut this into quarters. And that is how we get the alternating colors on the pumpkin. If you look at them, oh, this one, yes, this is 10. So let's get to the five and the five. This one just threw me because this is a six and a half inch ruler. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cut five and we're gonna cut five. doing this right. Okay. Then what you want to do is you're going to take this corner, this pie piece here, and you're going to flip it over. And you're going to take this pie piece here and flip mm. it over really easy. We're going to go to the sewing machine now. I'm going to carry these over so we don't have to go back and forth. Okay. Back and forth. Pam, if there is anything, welcome. I'm glad you found us, first of all. Um, but if there's anything that you would like, you can just do it, um, order here online. Um, and um, Or you can call any of the stores or however you want to do it. We'll make sure you get taken care of. All right. So now what we do is we pick up the top two pattern pieces. And I'm going to sit down here and I'm using a quarter inch seam. I almost missed the chair. And you have matching bobbin thread and top? I do. But this is, you know, this is one of those sewing projects where you could really use any color because it's not going to show. And I know how, those of you who know me, I have to do handwork on this. You. I know. <laughs> I'm not a fan of H-A-N-D or P-I-N. Um, the, hold on, let's see. So this is the same size she's doing today. And so if we measure the finished size, it is about, I mean, roughly an eight by eight sized pumpkin. And I'm pressing to the dark. Ooh, I forgot to get this is a handful of the polyfill. Okay. So maybe you want me to hold that while you go. I can get in just a second. And the iron is heating back up. That's why we're going ahead with this. And ladies, I promise this won't take long. You'll be able to whip out a pumpkin pin cushion in no time at all. Or <laughs> you can whip out little pumpkins and decorate with them yeah i see that that's cute it doesn't have to be a pin cushion not at all <laughs> you're right bev i will not be making this has way too much hand sewing for me <laughs> yeah 
H A N D. Oops, I have to stop and think how these are going to go together. I'm waiting for the iron to heat back up. The main thing is you just want to sew opposite colors together. Oh. As soon as the heat will press. Had a goober. Uh oh. Bell had a goober. You should use those really new handy little embroidery well, scissors. Just get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harriet. <laughs> she'll do it for she'll do the hand sewing for me. Oh Harriet, could you come in and do my <laughs> last year at our scrapbooking retreat? Harriet saved my life. She hand stitched down the bottom of a bag for me that was the bag. I showed her the bag and she said, oh sure, I'll do that. And after she'd spent a day on it, it was like, really? It didn't look this bad. <laughs> but she did it. She's a hand stitcher extraordinaire. Not me. Why is that still? And Harriet, I'll try to have a quilt for you this year to do. Um, yes, the directions are on our website, so it is, um, there's no link, it's just a, well, I mean, there's a link to get the directions, yeah, but, but no it's, embroidery nope, anything. there's no embroidery or anything, it's just a link to download the PDF on the written directions for the pincushion, and they are up on our website, ready to go. Um... Is Patrick still planning on doing IQ today? I know nothing about the IQ today, so I'm I'm might presume that he's not. Um, but maybe we can talk him into doing something tomorrow, Felicia. Do I need to follow you? We're just going to press, and I'm pressing to the dark side just because that helps me remember what I'm doing. Then what we'll do is fold this half down and that will be one seam and press to the dark again and we'll fold this down then we're going to nest our seams perfect our seams. Um, yes patty the dies are 20 percent off and Christine and I would love to just package all these dies up and send them home to you or with you. Yeah, these are the wave texture fabrics that we're using again. They're, they're really pretty. We're going to do a little chain sewing here, one to the other. And if you if your pumpkin pieces don't quite match, it's okay. Mine didn't on the other one. I noticed. I knew you would, and I knew you'd say something. <laughs> Just because kidding. Because yours would have been perfect, right? No. Yeah. Now maybe, what, 10 years ago? They might not have been perfect. Was that when no, you... No, actually, I think they would have been more perfect because I was you more of a perfectionist really than perfectionist I am now. when you started, yes. Yes. But we've... Uh, Kate and I have <laughs> taken her to the dark side. Um, the orange fabric, Bridget, yes, we do have... Um, not a lot. Not a whole lot. So we can definitely try to get you um, some of that uh, half yard of those. 
Um, Joan, yes, you can order on here. So you can just do a comment letting us know what you would like. Um, if there's a store or if we need to ship it for you, um, just let us know so we can get information out so we can get it shipped to you or where you would like to pick it up. Okay, so I pressed one, one direction. I'm gonna lay the other half of the pumpkin on top and press it the opposite. The reason I'm doing that, I didn't do it on my test sample. And ladies, it had been, I made the other one in 2015. So it's been five years since I had sewn one of these guys up. And I pressed both of them the same way this morning. Then when I went to go around them and do that seam, it uh, didn't want to do too well. So now, and you're making sure that you're laying it so that they alternate, right? Yes. So you've got here, light and dark. Perfect. And I'm gonna be able to nest my top and bottom and side seams, I hope. And if I can't, oh well, it's a pin cushion. So the thing you want to do now, you have to leave a small opening here on one of the sides without the seam. You do not want to leave your opening here. That makes it just a little harder to work with. Yes. So now you could P-I-N, which is pin. It's that three letter word, but that's not my favorite. Oh, see, I like do. pinning. I know, but I... I don't like doing hand sewing. Well, I don't mind pinning. I don't mind pinning on certain things, but this is a pin cushion. Well, since you should definitely pin it. You think? <laughs> Oh yeah, Mary said it's just a demo. I forgot about that. Remember I would always say that? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a demo. It's just a demo. <laughs> it's not rocket science. Hey. That's what we kind of think of this as. Whoops, hello. And I really... Should have pinned. <laughs> or have gotten a quarter inch foot without the guide. Because going around this circle is being mm. a bit naughty. But it's okay. We'll make it, right? Correct. And of course, having it cut as a circle, you've got a certain amount of bias here, which means we're getting a bit of stretching. But nobody's going to say anything bad when I have a lopsided pumpkin. Um, could you do... Um Decorative stitches in place of the floss. No, right? No, because the floss is what's going to gather our pumpkin in and give it some dimension. Okay. And you'll see that here in a few minutes. So Roxy, she'll go over that a little bit more when she starts to do that. You can use a cord. You could use yarn if you wanted yarn. That's why we didn't um, package any of it in. And I'm going to make this opening as small as possible because again, we have to do hand. So we have this sewn. Now, before you turn it, please flip it over. Check to make sure that you've caught all of the uh, edges on the other side. And you could clip it, but. Or pinking shear it. Or, or something. Something. Yes, but. It's a pin cushion. It's a pin cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we heard that before? So we're just gonna do this and push out our side seams. Kind of looks like a flying saucer now or a deflated balloon, either <laughs> of those. We're gonna do a tiny bit of pressing here just to um, Give it, make it a little prettier. I suppose we could hey, draw on faces. Will you hold this for a second? Okay, I'll get it. Just, oh, okay. I'm good. So just Never entertain mind. them for a minute. We needed some polyfill and she's oh, getting okay. it. No worries. Are my children still alive? Yes, they are. Look what I have. <laughs> no. Or a beard. Or a beard. <laughs> <laughs> now this is why I said I left this as small as possible. Why, to make it hard? 
you can make it hard, but I don't have to sand so as much. Very true. I know. We could hot glue it, too. That's what I would do. Well, I know that. <laughs> Why do you think I mentioned that? <laughs> so then you just stuff. We stuff and we stuff until we get it stuffed enough. And I had the other one stuffed really nicely this morning. And I thought, oh, that's too much stuffing. So I took some out and I did my hand sewing. And guess what? It wasn't enough. So I unsewed it this morning and I stuffed it more. So we'll make this a nice plump. A nice plump pumpkin. A plump pumpkin. There you go. And if I had something, hmm, I see something. Could use a corner poker outer. I could, but look what I found. Oh, a screwdriver, a screwdriver. even better. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, just found a new use for the screwdriver handle. Come on, baby. Once you get it started, it's all okay. And we're not packaging the polyfill in with your kits because we imagine that you would all have polyfill of some sort. Um, or heat and bond tape you could use, right? I could use heat and bond tape, but it's on a curve. Yeah, it's hard. It makes it a little harder. If you wanted to sit and let it dry, you could use fabric tack glue. Mm -hmm. But it's only a couple inches of hand sewing. I still wouldn't survive. <laughs> it just wouldn't be pretty, and that's I think that's why Mine I don't is like. Not pretty this I morning don't. Either. I don't like the way it looks, so I need to practice it. You and Cora could practice together. She was hand sewing this weekend. That was interesting. She was surgering this after this weekend. Is what she called it. Surgering. Surgering. For those of you who don't, don't know, Cora is six, but she was surgering. Not sure where that came from. What could you stuff it with to make it a little heavier and use a sewing weight also? Um, you can get the plastic beads at Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's and just make a little pouch out of muslin. And once you get your polyfill in it, just put it in the slip, bottom, slip them in the bottom. But in doing that, we have to run our needle through there. So it's going to be a little more difficult. The other thing you might do is to um, just make a little pocket on the bottom, but again, you'd have to hand sew it on. And I've not had any trouble with that one tipping over, so. Yeah, because they kind of lay flat. They lay flat, this shape. And Walnut shells, beans, rice. Yeah, but again, you've got to run the needle through them because we're going to run that needle. The hand sewing needle. Forth. Well, the through the board. center. Yeah. The hand sewing is going to be right here. So follow me to the hand sewing station. <laughs> and in the old pumpkin. That's a big hand sewing needle. This is the hand sewing. But I'll be right back. You just look at the pumpkin. Because we did not rethread our needle. <laughs> Are they laughing at me? They said, I can't believe you got all that stuffing in there. <laughs> what? It was quite a bit of stuffing. I was surprised, too. Oh, ye of little faith. That would be cute, like 3D leaves, like embroider yeah. leaves. You could take... A, this one doesn't work so well, but I've got another pumpkin that you can put wooden stems in. Mm. And that one's kind of fun to do, too. Lorraine Myers has a grand granddaughter named Cora, too. Oh, well, this one is Cora Grace, better known as Gracie Pants. It's all going to be done. Should we start it? Oh, it's because we got late lunch. Yep, that's all right. It's okay. 
You guys like to watch this. <laughs> Never underestimate your stuffing ability. That's it. <laughs> Come Thanksgiving and Christmas, don't we stuff a lot in? That's funny. All right, got it. So you can do a song and dance if you want, Christine. If you've got anything to song and dance about. Well, let's watch you hand sew. Oh, thank you. Maybe people would like oh, a lesson. please. I hand sew left-handed, which means it's going to be backwards for everybody. That is correct. Now, if I were hemming a pair of trousers or something, I'd be doing an invisible stitch, but I'm not. I'm making a pumpkin pincushion. You could use a sewing machine, but I think it would be kind of hard to get that underneath the needle. Yeah, it would be because it is ultra stuffed, uber stuffed. <laughs> everyone says, or not everyone, but there's a lot of people saying that they're a lefty too. Okay. So it's not backwards for everyone. Okay, good. And if you're left-handed, you sit across from a right-handed person, or vice versa. If you're right-handed and you're trying to teach a left-handed, you have them sit directly in front of you, and that way it looks, when they're sewing, it's okay. Knitting or anything like that. <laughs> so these are the two scissors we showed earlier, for those of you asking. So we have the larger pair, um, which is the premium soft cushion. And they are $3.99. And then we have the small little ones, the small embroidery ones, and they are $1.99. And the nice thing about the $3.99 ones, you can use them on paper mm -hmm. because they're $3.99 and it's not like you're spending $50 right. on your good scissors that you don't want anybody to <laughs> use paper. So I have two or three pair of these in my um, utility drawer at home and that's what we cut yeah <laughs> Barbara I agree she said I would flatten that baby out and put it on the machine <laughs> <laughs> me too any way to avoid um, hand sewing okay those of you asking about the dies so this is the new uh, go big bowl cozy so again this one is only going to work um, if you have that big electric machine it will not work in the hand crank okay um, that one is $89.99 and then we have the courtyard which kind of looks like a poinsettia it would be really you could do a lot of different things with this one you i think it's really cute oh that's that cute um so there's the courtyard and that one is 89.99 and then we have the super super cute little red truck or just a pickup um and again you could change that according to the different holidays so they have uh pumpkins and christmas trees and and then we also showed the camper die because now you have a truck to pull your camper. How clever, right? Um, and you could put a little Christmas tree in the back of the truck. So cute. Um, so this is the camper is an older die, but I just was showing you what you could do. Um, and the pickup truck is $59.99. The camper die is $59.99. And then, oh yeah. So here is a little sample of the camper die. We put it on a little zipper bag, which is really cute too. And then uh, beforehand, they came out with a cookie, a gingerbread cookie die. And now they have the decorations for your gingerbread cookies. And those ones are $29.99. And then yes, all the dies are 20% off. And these the, were just released today. Yeah, they were just released today. Um, did you get the soup bowl again? Yes. Um, sorry, I was just trying to go back. Okay. Um, the bowl size is eight like in width by bowl. three and a half and then eight inches in height. Okay. And so 
I don't, it's really hard to see in a picture, but this says actual size. So you can kind of imagine, um, pretty standard bowl size, I believe. Guess what? You're almost done. Almost done. One more knot. Then, then we start the sculpting. The small scissors are not curved, so they're just, yeah, just straight embroidery, embroidery little snipperoonies, and they're really cute. I and like the match. colors. Yeah, and then you can get matching pairs of scissors. Cute. Okay, so you've got a little bit of a, mm-hmm, doesn't look real pretty, but that's okay. You're going to take care of that. And then I just had some straight old... I think this is, yeah, DMC at home. You could use a darker color with this. Um, and you want a nice long piece. Okay. So um, our Facebook Live videos um, do stay up on there. I don't know if and when Facebook ever gets rid of those. We don't delete them. Um, you can also find them on YouTube. And you can also find them, like, so when we do other, like, where you'll find the directions for today is on our website, which is aboveandbeyondsewing.com, under our uh, calendar tab, under the events tab. And if you click on those, there's underneath the picture and stuff, it says click here for our Facebook Live video. So you can link it that way as well. And then, yes, I did say it was 20% off of all the dies. And this is the size needle I'm using. Look here, ladies. This is not a small needle. It is three inches. Woo -hoo. Wow. Big time. Um, Mary, if you would like to order the scissors, you can just comment on here which scissors you would like. Or if you want to call any of the stores, you can do that as well. Um, however you want to order or message us on Facebook or you could email us as well. But we don't go back and look at the comments. After the video is not live. Right. So when you're doing this, you want to see if maybe one side looks better than the other side as far as <laughs> matching. This one that I did this morning, the top is off just a little bit. So I used, I chose that as my top. This one matches pretty good. So you're going to start here. You're going to go straight down through. You're going to find that lovely center point. Ouch. But try not to do what I just did, which I just poked my finger. You need a thimble. I hate thimbles. I'd rather hand sew than do a thimble. Oh, your knot wasn't big enough. <laughs> you pulled it right through. You're not supposed to say it. I was just going to act like it was supposed to be done that way. All right, we'll try this again. We're, we're stalling for time here, apparently, because I'm certainly not doing the best job. You want a big old darning needle is basically what I have. So, um, okay, so for those of you, like if you're new or if you have any questions, so um, about the ordering, you can order here. So place your, place your order in a comment. Just say you would like a pair of the big green scissors and small greens, the pumpkin kit. Um, and you can do multiple comments. We do have somebody watching. Um, so as they're watching or as they're watching, they can write down those comments and then divvy them out to the stores or to be shipped. Um, so however you want to order anything, you can do it online. You can call any of the locations. You can send us a message on Facebook or you can email us as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've gone through, I just waited so that you could see this. We're gonna come up and around, and I'm gonna do the seams first. And then I'm Well, that would be a cute down. idea to put a button on the end. You could do a button on the end, but again, you have to go back and forth and back um. and forth and back and forth through it. So when we get done, we can do a button. Okay. All right, so the first seam is right here. And now I'm gonna come up and go opposite. Um, the kits for today, so it comes with the two different fabrics in there and then all um, three different pieces of ribbon for the top. Um, and it is $5.99 for the kit for today. And I'm going to show you here in a minute <laughs> how you curl your ribbon. 
Because that too is magic. Yeah, that's cool. I'm excited to hear about that. I had to bake my ribbon last night. You know how you bake apples or you bake pies? I baked ribbon. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is, this is not going well because we're live, mm -hmm. right? That's, what, that's how it works for me anyways. Because this morning I just uh, stitched right through them. And we have a ginormous <laughs> knot. Hush, now you're not supposed to be laughing. I am your elder. <laughs> um, we do sell the Tula Stiletto. I... I think, I don't know if, did Amanda use one of those yesterday in live? I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, I don't know if we have them in stock or if that's something we do have on order and we're just waiting for those to come in. Um, but we can get that added for you, Darlene. Um, our, so right now we are filming at the Thornton location. Um, and the phone number is 303-317-2004. Oh, it was so the Fomor Stiletto. So now I'm starting to cut the quarters in half. Okay. So you just go in the center. Mm -hmm. And however you want to sculpt your pumpkin, this is all up to you. And I don't think I cut enough floss, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Or we'll get a second piece. Yippers! Tying off. Are you going to go over why you baked and at what temperature yes, and how much? It's okay. all in the instructions, too, but I'll show you, <coughs> and we'll talk about all of that, my dears, <coughs> very soon. <coughs> Sheesh, sorry. And I don't even remember where I found these instructions, but... The I lady said that she's done them for hair bows before. Mm-hmm. You can do that for sure. How cute. Your boys would look really Oh, they would good. love some curly bows. Yes, they their would. hair. We're getting close. How are we doing on time? Because I don't know. It is 2.50. Okay, we can do this easy. We only have two more sides to do, and then we're going to put our curls on. Ooh. And you guys can make your pumpkins, like I said, whatever size. And when you get done, you kind of rearrange the threads so that they're in a shape that's pleasing to your eyes. Must be a pleasing pumpkin, don't you know? Okay, I will have one of them give you a call. It might be tomorrow before somebody gives you a call, okay? All right, thank you. Have a good day, bye. All right, so this is, we're coming back up to the top of the pumpkin. And I'm going to put, just go around a couple of these strings, tie off, just to secure. Then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your curling. We have used 3 8 inch. Okay, so yeah, she's going to, Bridget, she's talking about it right now. So this is done. It's 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon. You can make them larger or smaller grow grain, whichever you want. I use, this is probably a 3 8 inch dowel rod that I had used before. 
So you can see what I've done here. I have them around a dowel rod with clothespins. You soak your dowel rods in water for a bit. I think I left mine in water for about 20 minutes last night. Then you start, whoops, what happened to my extra clothes pencil? We'll take these off. So you start at one end with your dowel rod and your clothespin, and you're gonna wrap it around in a spiral. Just come right on down. Now remember your dowel rod is wet, and um, you're gonna bring it down. You're gonna set your oven, your oven. Your oven? Your oven your oven at 250 degrees, so you're not gonna be burning anything. And no, you do not want to do this in the microwave with the clothespins because of the metal in the, on the clothespin hinge. And no, you do not want to use plastic clothespins in your oven because that would melt. So you now have your ribbon wrapped around and your dowel rod is wet you can go ahead and soak the ribbon just a bit under your uh, under the water, or you can use a heavy spray starch on it. You could use the Cherry All Magic on it, get it really wet, then you're gonna put it in a glass baking dish, put it in the oven, and it says 10 to 15 minutes. You just want to leave it in there until the ribbon is dry. When the ribbon is dry, you're gonna take it out, you're gonna set it aside, and you wanna let it cool before you uncurl it. So here's what I have. There's my curls. Come on, off you come. <clears throat> Those are so cute. So you could do different size ribbons. This is what we had here at the store. Very fun. So this fun. is what's in your kit. You're gonna find the center of each of your ribbons. And then remember the thread that I had here. We're going to go around these guys, back down through the pumpkin again. And I did bring a pair of pliers just in case this got too hard to pull through, but it seems to be working fine. Those, yeah, that is really cute. We so, could all do, you can make us, wouldn't it? So have a pair of pliers handy just <laughs> in case. And now I'm pulling this down here and unleashing my tail. Then I'm gonna come back up through again, just to secure the ribbon on. Now, if you had some little spiders or some little leaves that you want to put on, you could, there's any number of things you can do. The possibilities decorate. are endless. The possibilities are <laughs> endless, absolutely. Billy, I'm thinking the same thing. What's that, too much hand sewing? A glue gun. <laughs> Of course, Billy. Hmm. No, I don't. This kind of stuff, I don't mind. It's when I have to sew up a seam. Well, this isn't like, really <sighs> seamy. This no. is just crafty. It is crafty and really cute. And, you know, it's a pin cushion, so I'm being extremely careful, as you can tell. Well, you better be with that needle. I know. It is a large needle, isn't it? It is really big. But it is but so guess cute. What? I keep it just for this kind of activity. So do, does anyone have any questions, again, on how to curl? Mm, I don't because think I so. Because I did put it in. And the directions are up there right now for you guys. So if you um, if you want to go out and download them, they can, you can get them right now. They are up there for you. Um, but she did put them on there as well. Ta-da! Very cute. Now, this pumpkin has a bit of a dimple on this side. But it's okay. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> It is really cute. Oh, and it's ready to go in the oven and be baked in my oh, pan. Oh, like a pan pie. Very cute. I love it. All righty. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Oh, we even made it on time. Yay. 
there's no time limit when you're having fun. Um, it do, does it have to be gross green ribbon? Um, that seems to work the better. best. Yes. Okay. I, I tried the satin ribbon once and it didn't hold the curl as well. Okay. But I would say try it and see how it works for you guys. Perfect. All right. And I did try it in the microwave once and that was a little interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Just thank saying. you guys. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.